Yo, what's up, crazies? It's me, Crazy Knock, and today we're gonna be going over our top season one character list of the skins. How good were the skins season one? As you can see, all the skins are right here for season one. Not too great of a season, to be honest, but season two is better, and we'll hopefully vote for those as well. First up, we're gonna rank the Matrix variant skins, and uh, I think they're pretty good. Obviously, Superman is number one the best i'd rank all of them b tier but except this one i'll rank s tier because i don't think you can get this anywhere else but yeah overall nothing none of them are really special they're just uh, unique to each character and uh just the effects and me liking the matrix i think i think they're cool i think they're a really cool addition to the skin so the other duplicates that we're gonna go over are the shark hats and you just get a shark hat i feel like they could have just made it a hat almost like fortnite backpacks or pickaxes they should just make it so you can put it on any character but they made it like a variant for every character another example dirty little stripe has it all the characters have it with that reason i'm going to be putting them in the d tier another variant that was added was just the same kind of thing not only the shark hat but the face mask the one that jason is wearing and this one's even worse. It doesn't have it for every character. It's just the hockey mask. And yeah, it does have a look. But then again, it doesn't have just a, oh, buy the hockey mask. Get it for everyone, you know. Next up for the probably even worse, just the Batman shirt to put on a normal skin. It looks ridiculous. I'm a Superman man, so I had to buy it because I'm a freaking dingleberry. Why did I do that? But Wonder Woman has one. It's just it's like stupid. And I think it's just lazy. It's just lazy and not really enjoyable. They did a similar thing, like the Batman shirt that had the Joker shirt as well. Velma had one as well for some reason. She's a Joker fan. I thought she was a Superman fan. God damn it! The Joker ones are better than the Batman, and the Batman are better than the hockey mask, but they're all, they're just all pretty similar. We got the Tuniverse variation skins. It's kind of just like a whole skin variation, but I will put this one in C tier because it does affect the whole character and it does have that kind of comic look. This would have been way more rewarding if it was put in the uh, Fighter Mastery Superman. Maybe if they put it at level 30 or something like, or level 15 and then maybe something at level 30, that would have been more valuable. Every character did receive these uh, Tuniverse. Next up, we have the Summer skins that I actually quite enjoyed. It does change the variant like by a lot if you compare the default skin it's quite different and they also came out with the fourth of july which is mm, i think it looks so good you also got this one in the prestige shop you got the bugs bunny and jacket i think that's a nothing too special but i like the hat i like the hat all right even though they're furry we got the snowsuit fin as well uh solid i like that it changes the sword i'll put him in a as well you got the Muddy Jake, which I have started watching uh, Adventure Time. I mean, this is season one, and I actually saw this episode, so that was pretty funny. I'd say this is high A, high tier A. I, I like it a lot. You got Taz as well. This was in the Battle Pass. It's one of uh, Taz's better skins. I think it's just, I think it looks ridiculous and funny. So, hey, hey! Amazon Defense LeBron. Pretty solid, pretty solid. Nothing S. It's A! Lots of these are A. Shaggy Cowboy, almost an S, but it just doesn't have that flair. I do like the hat. So the bronze skin adds more depth. It's kind of just gray casual clothes, but compared to his other skins, it just, I think it stands out more than the others. So I'll put him in as A. Velma skin right here, A. And this one's kind of with the uh, Shark Week, I believe. I like that it is a onesie on the whole character, but it reminds me of Megalodog. I'll still put him A. I like it. I think we got one more A skin, and I think I'll put Joker in here. Solid skin. I like the way his hair is, and uh, he looks he looks kind of creepy. As far as his summertime skin, I am not a fan of it. I think it looks so trash. I'm going to put that one at B. Uh, this one, I'll put as B as well. I just don't... It doesn't really fit him. I don't understand. It just doesn't, like... I'm not seeing it. I'm not a fan at all. Uh, the Garnet Beach variant, I think it makes her look goddamn good! But I will put it in B because it's a little lackluster. It's kind of sad, but this uh, for season one, this is more of his higher effort skins with Stripe. So I will put it at B. Even the jacket and gloves, you don't really even tell. You can't even tell. B! B! The Tom and Jerry scuba diving one. It's kind of hard to uh, find a skin that you would appreciate on this. But personally, this doesn't do it for me. Like, it's not enough. It's just so bland to me. B for bland. And all the rest characters that you see down below, I, I'm going to put them on S. This is my S order. First up on S, the ultimate best skin in the game. <laughs> the Lady Banana Guard. And we all know why. We all know why.
We love Lady Banana Garden. <laughs> and you might think this one should be at the top because it's the last tier in the battle pass of season one, but my goodness, they did such a clean job. I didn't even know that movie existed for Jason. Let me tell you, this looks way better than it does in the movie. Joker, one of the variants, changes his voice lines. He's a whole different character in a show, so did a really, really good job. Like, comparative to the just what he looks like normally to this, really solid skin. Like, oh my god. When's the last time you looked at Velma and said, oh my god? My favorite color is orange, and that bright orange, and it just looks so good. Same with the summertime Wonder Woman. My god. Holy crap, those shorts are short. Just overall, I really like the idea of the, the life saver as a shield, and then like the nerf sword. Overall, very beautiful skin. Arya is uh, the summertime skin. This is like the most change that she's had on a skin before. And the nerf sword and just her colorful outfit. I think it looks all solid. Steven, another skin that's probably the best in season one that changed his character the most is this freaking wedding Steven. I think it looks clean. Clean! So clean. So good on him. It looks so good on him. It's a perfect fit. How? How did he get a perfect fit? I'd say it's S. Uh, last one is our uh, Garnet, the wedding Garnet. I haven't seen the show, so I don't have any like bias towards that or whatever, but... I think it looks really good on her. I think it just is probably one of her best skins. And uh, I had to put her on there. I like it. I like it a lot. Crazies was that skin. We do have our finalized tier list for all season one skins. I think we've been at the recording of this. I've been playing season two and the skins are a lot better. Let me know if you guys want to see the season two skin tier list at the end of the season. Just, just for fun, you know, if you want to comment your favorite skin down below, please do, because I'm uh, curious on which one you guys like the most. Can't wait for the future of Multiverses, and I can't wait for the future of the crazies. Let's go, crazies. Thank you all for watching. And with that, I say good day and goodbye. Goodbye, crazies. Goodbye, crazies. Love you, crazies. <laughs>